Hey guys, Tiffany with another video and I know you guys have been waiting for this. This is my Sephora haul. I did not do a Sephora recommendations video. I know I just didn't have the time. Like I don't even have an excuse. I just did not have the time. I didn't even show you guys what was in my car. But you knew I was going to bring you guys a haul once I got everything from the sale. Now I am VIP Rouge so I was able to shop the sale early. I did pick up some things online and then I also picked up some things in store. I don't feel like I went super crazy. I know y'all are thinking like I probably have a whole bunch of stuff but to me I feel like I, I did a really good job. I have so much makeup like I'm really trying to cut back on what I'm purchasing and focus more on bringing you guys out these videos so I don't think I'm gonna pick up much more to close out the year I'm really just trying to focus on reviews I'm trying to get some tutorials in for you guys cuz I hear you guys saying tutorials tutorials and I'm just I think I'm done I don't know unless they come out with like a banging Black Friday product I think I'm just done for now but this is everything I picked up I don't feel like it's too much you guys definitely will let me know in the comment section if you think I overdid it but let's get started so of course this is in no particular order at first I was gonna try to go by like category but I'm just gonna grab and go I will say that I picked up a lot of eye palettes I think palettes was the majority of what I picked up and that was not planned the one thing that I wanted more than anything the new Pat McGrath palette the whatever bronze mothership low like I don't know the name but you guys know what I'm talking about sold out it was in my cart the night before the sale started for Rouge it was in my cart at midnight it was in my cart at 12 45 I fell asleep woke back up at 3 a.m. sold out and it's been sold out ever since so I don't think I ever get my hands on it because I picked up some other stuff and now I'm just kind of like over it but that was the main thing that I wanted but I did get one of the smaller palettes um this is the Pat McGrath Mothership Sublime Bronze Temptation palette here's what the packaging looks like I don't like the packaging I heard a lot of people say how they think this is like so fancy and stuff this is not my favorite packaging I will say that um when you open it up on the inside it does not come with a cover for the mirror it's a really nice size of mirror I'm trying to figure out how I can I'll cover it up with another product it comes with six different eyeshadows and the palette runs you $55 which normally her palettes are $125 so I think 55 is a really good price especially if you're just looking to maybe try out the eyeshadows this one comes with two mattes and the rest are shimmer shades and of course you guys know that shade right there really drew me in. I love colors like that. I also thought that green was really pretty. She released three different palettes and of the three this one was definitely what I felt was right up my alley. Haven't played around with it yet but I have used her eyeshadows before and I think the quality and the pigmentation was awesome so I don't think I'll be disappointed with this one hate the packaging but I'm really excited about the eyeshadows another palette that I picked up is the Natasha Denona cranberry palette okay I know I told you guys in one of my um, will I buy it videos that I was not gonna get this and I really had no plans of getting this palette like whatsoever but then people kept tagging me in it on Instagram y'all were sending me snaps on it like Tiff stop playing you know these are your type of colors I really love her holiday palettes from last year I have both of them and the formula of those palettes to me it was a lot different than the formula of the regular Natasha Denona palettes and I don't know I just blacked out and I added this to my cart for my online order but I used it for my eyes today I used this and the glow by glory palette and I mm, I don't know how I'm feeling I don't really know how I'm feeling so far I will say that one of my eyeshadows came broken just like one of them did last year so I'm really disappointed about that these are what the shades look like I'm trying not to turn it so the eyeshadow doesn't fall out this one right here came broken so I have to be really careful because it will pop out 
but these are what the shades look like and the jury is still out for this one like I thought I was gonna be blown away I do think that this formula reminds me of her holiday palettes from last year almost like the mattes are not like a typical matte they're more of like a creamy matte and I really like that about her palettes from last year you guys are gonna have to stay tuned because I'm definitely gonna be talking about this in an upcoming haul day but how was it um next up I grabbed a foundation I usually try to get a foundation during the sale so I got the makeup forever matte velvet skin foundation if you guys follow me on snapchat you know I recently did a wear test on this it's a foundation that I'm wearing today and I also did a first impression video I think that'll probably be up after this one so I got the shade Y505 here is what it looks like right here so again since I've talked about it so much already I'm not gonna go into too much detail just make sure you have your subscription and your notifications on so you don't miss out on my thoughts um, I picked up this dream and glow set from Laneige that is what it looks like it comes with four of the lip sleeping masks I picked up the lip sleeping mask in the last Sephora sale the last little surprise 20% off they had and I have been absolutely loving it so when I saw this set with the different like flavors I could not pass it up you actually get a full size of the regular lip sleeping mask and let me tell you I use that thing every day and so far I have not put a dent into it so a little bit goes such a long way but you also get um, grapefruit apple lime and vanilla I don't know what flavor the regular one is I think it's like a strawberry but I love the fact that you get to try out the other ones and even though it's a smaller size because a little bit goes such a long way I feel like with this kit I'm gonna be good for a while because I still have so much in the other one but I like my lips love this stuff so another eyeshadow palette that I picked up this one okay so backstory behind this palette this is the urban decay naked cherry palette now when i first saw the promo pictures for this i wasn't interested in it i thought it was nice but i'm like these colors just for whatever reason aren't like pulling me in like i don't feel like i need this i promise you every time i went to ulta every time i went to sephora i swatched this palette and the swatches always blew me away but i kept talking myself out of it like Tiff you don't need it you don't need it you don't need it but there is for me like there is something about a product if every time I go into a store no matter what store it is every time I go into a store I always find my way to it to swatch it to look at it I don't know to me that just says I need it so I finally went ahead and picked it up here is how it looks on the inside. I'm sure you guys have seen it already because it's been out for a little while now. Of course, again, the theme of this palette is Naked Cherry. So you have like a lot of cherry, um, mauve type shades in here. I can't wait to play around with this. I don't know, like the swatches blew me away. I just thought the swatches were gorgeous, especially from like here on down. I love these I cannot wait to play around and I'm hoping it's as amazing as my mind has already formed it to be but let me know if you guys want to see like anything with this because like I said I know it's not a like a new new palette or whatever it's been out for a little while all right so next thing I got I got the Frasali skin tune blur perfecting primer serum I blame this on Andrea Renee here on YouTube which guys know I freaking love her I saw her talk about this on her channel and I felt like I needed it so I actually went in store and picked this up after I saw that she had it it is supposed to be let's see what does it say um, it says use with or without makeup use as a blurring and tuning serum after your moisturizer apply on your t-zone all over your face or as a primer before your makeup application it's supposed to kind of be like Photoshop in a bottle basically it is a primer that I'm wearing today I'm not sure how I'm liking it with this foundation but I've heard some really good things about it I'm always kind of skeptical about like any of the Farsali products I always feel like they're kind of gimmicky but I saw she had picked it up so I was like you know what I'm gonna go ahead and try it out for myself too so definitely would be in one of my holiday but how was it videos
and another eyeshadow palette I told you guys I don't know I went like eyeshadow crazy I don't know why because I don't need any more eyeshadows but I picked up the um, Huda Beauty obsessions palette one of the ruby obsessions this one is the red one you know she came out with like four different ones I have the mauve from her original release and I really love that palette like I take that palette usually with me whenever I travel so this one looks like this now I've heard probably the worst reviews about this one out of all of the newer ones she came out she came out with like a topaz a green one a blue one I think that was all in this one this one has gotten to me like the worst reviews but I love these colors so I don't know like those shimmer shades are absolutely gorgeous and I love a nice red in my eye for some reason so I'm definitely gonna try this out for myself and see how it works but like I said I have the mauve obsessions and I really really love it I take it with me every time I travel and it's just a great little palette so I've been looking into trying out some new skincare you guys know how I feel about skincare like I'm obsessed with skincare and taking care of my skin so I've been looking into the brand pharmacy it is supposed to be one of those like clean brands at Sephora that's supposed to have all these great natural type ingredients for your skin so I picked up the honeymoon glow this is supposed to be an AHA resurfacing night serum with hydrating honey and gentle flower acids let me tell you guys something the reviews for this product are phenomenal the reviews I don't think I read one bad review about this product and that to me says a lot I cannot get it open there it is but it had like the best reviews and I've been really into serums lately I don't think you guys are really gonna be able to see with the lights but it's just supposed to have all these amazing things inside and supposed to do all these wonderful things for your skin especially if you have like texture issues which you guys know I've been struggling with so I am so so excited right now I'm still using and trying out the drunk well I've been using it for over a month now the drunk elephant um, serum that you guys know I picked up during the last Sephora sale so I'm using that one and loving that one right now so I'm not gonna jump into another serum just yet but I am really excited excited to try that out um, and speaking of pharmacy I also picked up their cleanser this is the pharmacy clean B ultra gentle facial cleanser I just kind of grabbed this because I was looking for a new facial cleanser I didn't really read the reviews on it but I felt like since the reviews for the other product were really good and I've been looking to try out a new brand anyway I might as well stick with the same brand um, this one again is supposed to have all kind of things it's like free of parabens free of artificial coloring free of formaldehyde it's not tested on animals contains naturally derived ingredients and it's supposed to wash away surface oil impurities pollution residue and makeup while nourishing the skin with a lot of great products so really really excited if you guys have tried out the pharmacy brand definitely let me know down below what you guys think it's not as expensive as a lot of other skincare brands so I do like that but still a bit pricey just depending on what you're used to but I'm excited to try those out I picked up a concealer I finally got my hands on the cover FX power play concealer I got the shade in deep one I did swatch this shade in store and to me it just seemed like it would be a really good highlighting without being too highlighty concealer I was a little worried because it's um, in deep which I think is supposed to stand for neutral but the swatch on my hand in store like I wore it around the store for a while and it wasn't bad and I kind of liked it so I've heard really great things about these concealers so I'm really interested to see for myself what else did I get oh I got another Pat McGrath um, lip gloss this is the Pat McGrath lust gloss in flesh fantasy here's what the packaging looks like I have this already and I'm already like halfway done with it this color I love this color it is such a great color you can wear it on your lips every day I can wear it to work like it's not too much it's not over the top and I love how this feels on my lips I picked up two during the last Sephora sale and I love both of them <laughs> and but this one is definitely my favorite it's it's absolutely gorgeous it's not what I'm wearing on my lips of course everything I wear on my face is always down below in my description box 
but I just I love how these feel pricey yes for a lip gloss especially because y'all know I'm not the biggest lip gloss girl but the feel is a amazing but that is it for my haul like I told you guys I didn't go too crazy like I've been watching some hauls and some of y'all went like overboard okay i was like i'm not gonna go crazy i'm just gonna get the things that i've really been having my eye on i didn't re-up on anything i wanted to just try out things that i haven't tried out lately but i've definitely had my eye on so i'm really happy with the things i got i'm excited to try them i can't wait to dig into them some of them i've already dug into and as i said the thoughts on those will be coming to you guys and one of my heart about how was it but let me know what you guys think of the video let me know what you think of the products i picked up if you picked up any of these i want to know how you like them or dislike them if that's the case as well also let me know what you guys picked up during the sale and anything else that you want to tell me down below because you guys know i say it all the time i love and appreciate your feedback Thank you guys, as always, for sticking it out with me here on my channel, despite not having uploaded in a while because work has just been crazy. But my hours are freeing up, so I'm definitely going to have more time to focus on YouTube. So the videos are going to start coming at a more regular basis. So just stick with me. Stick with me, kid. But until next time. Bye, YouTube.